Welcome back to the video guys. So my name is Stephen Walsh and today I'm introducing a new type of video. I'm gonna go with the Monday minutes. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna take an exercise, I'm gonna take something on a Monday and I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna try and help explain it or give you some practical piece of advice in a minute or less. So today I'm gonna go with the pull up. Now a lot of times I see these done incorrectly and the way I'm gonna show you to how to do it today is how to, we'll say, band it to make it easier and to make it easier for you to make it harder or easier depending on how you're getting on. So let's do one minute on the clock and let's head out onto the gym floor and try and get it done. Okay, let's try and get this done in a minute. Hopefully you can hear me with the music in the background, but today we are talking about banding the pull-ups. So most people, when they band the pull-ups, band it from the top. And the reason why I don't kind of encourage you to do this is because when you bend it from the top, it makes it very difficult to make it easier or harder. So when you put your foot into it, source of progression you have is to change the thickness of the band um, and sometimes there's a limiting point with that. The way I'm going to show you how to do it is to wrap the band around the JPEGs on the bottom. So you're going to start the bands from here. Step on the band. And then to make that easier or harder, then what you do is just take one of the bands off, uh, change the thickness of the bands, but you can also change the height of the JPEG. So obviously the higher they are, the easier it's gonna be, and the lower it gets, um, the harder it's gonna get. So it's a little bit easier then for you to progress weekly or every second week with the pull-ups, rather than just sticking with the band at the top, because um, a lot of people kind of get disheartened with it. And what you all seem to think about as well, you don't need to worry about the band snapping up and hitting you because they're obviously nice and secure on the JPEGs like that. And that's that, that's your first Monday Minute. So hopefully you found it a little bit useful and a lot easier to progress or regress your pull-ups um, using that method rather than banding it from the top. If you've got any suggestions as to what exercise or what thing to tackle next in the Monday Minute, leave the suggestions in the comments box below and I will try and get to them. So we're gonna start this one, be a little bit more regular with the content on a Monday. So stay tuned, hope to see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.